five additional body parts you are not washing enough. The first is on the sides, like those creases right around the nose area. That's right. You know, it can get kind of oily and get kind of greasy, kind of gunky. Uh-huh. Make sure when you're washing your face, whether it's in the shower, at the sink or whatever, that you're also making sure you're really specifically getting that area. You want to get your whole face, right? Super important. Okay. Don't want that oily build up there. The next uh, body part you are not washing enough is your back. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm not talking about just standing in the shower, letting the water hit your back, although it does feel good, I admit. Um, You know, I'm team washcloth over here. I say get that washcloth, get some soap, and like you wash your front, wash your back. Specifically, it will help potentially reduce the risk of bacne, that is acne on your back, help obviously reduce bacteria load, things like this. You want to clean your back, okay? The third thing is your feet, uh-huh. Now, it's easier to do like the tops of the feet behind between the toes. We talked about that in the last video I made that was similar to this, but I'm talking about the bottoms of your feet, y'all, uh-huh. And no, it's not just good enough that you're in the shower, you're in a wet environment, so, oh, of course my feet get clean. No, I, I don't think so. I think you got to get that washcloth in addition to going between your toes, which we've talked about on the tops, make sure you get the bottoms of your feet to help reduce the chance of infection, uh, bacterial infection, things like that. Also can help exfoliate your feet and everybody wants soft feet, right? Hmm. Uh, the next thing is um, under your folds. That's right. Lift up your stuff, lift up your boobs, lift up your folds. It's okay if you have them. Folds are perfectly fine. Just lift them up. Make sure you're washing uh, underneath them. And the last body part, you are not washing enough is the inside of the ears. That is right. No, you cannot use Q-tips or should not use Q-tips. I've done plenty of videos on this. You want to just get a wash towel, put your finger in it, get it wet and kind of go in there and make sure you get the wax out that's sort of coming out of the canal. That is safe to do. Otherwise, nothing smaller than the elbow should go in the ears. Guys, uh, make sure you catch my first video on five body parts you are not watching enough um, to make sure you stay clean. <laughs> All right, guys.